Drone attack on Russian airfields. Russia lost 5% of all TU-95 fleet. If the information from Ukrainian media about serious damage to three TU-95MS strategic bombers at the Russian Engels-2 airbase during the drone attack on the night of April the 5th is confirmed, it will be possible to assert that Russia has lost approximately 5% of these aircraft, which is a significant loss according to the Institute for the Study of War, ISW. The Institute noted that Ukrainian drone strikes typically target individual airbases in Russia. Ukraine's ability to attack three airbases in a single series of strikes represents a notable inflection in the capabilities. Russian forces regularly use Tu-95 strategic bombers stationed at the Engels airbase to launch Kh-101, Kh-555 cruise missiles at targets in Ukraine. According to ISW estimates, as of 2023, Russia had approximately 60 Tu-95 aircraft. If confirmed, aircraft damage, the possible loss of roughly 5% of Russia's strategic Tu-95 bombers in a single strike would be notable, the report said. Earlier, the institute noted that aircraft losses for Russia are not insignificant as it likely has around 300 various Su-type aircraft. Currently, Russian forces use these aircraft to conduct strikes with guided and unguided glide bombs along the entire front line in Ukraine, previously employing significantly enhanced glide bomb strikes to achieve tactical advantages. Constant Ukrainian strikes on Russian airfields will degrade the ability of Russia's aerospace forces to deliver missile and aerial strikes across Ukraine's territory, experts say. According to RBC Ukraine sources, on the night of April the 5th, the main intelligence directorate, together with the armed forces of Ukraine, organized an operation that targeted three Russian airbases. According to sources in the main intelligence directorate, as a result of the drone attack, at least three Tu-95MS strategic bombers at the Engels-2 airbase likely suffered serious damage. Seven occupiers were killed there, among them possibly the pilots of the bombers. Another target of the attack was the military airfield in Yes. As a result of Ukrainian drone strikes, at least four occupiers were killed there and two enemy Su-25 aircraft were completely destroyed by fire. The interlocutors also reported strikes on other airfields in Kursk. Details of the results of this attack are not yet available. Terrified passengers have leapt into the sea to escape a fire ferry traveling to a popular tourist destination off the coast of Thailand. The vessel from Surathani province was about to arrive at Koh Tao when a passenger suddenly heard a crackling sound and smelled smoke. Methri Pramjampa said he saw billowing smoke and fire less than five minutes later, and that was when people started shouting and rang the alarm. We could barely get the life vests in time, he told the Associated Press. It was chaotic. People were weeping I also teared up. All 108 people on board, of which 97 were passengers, were safe, officials said. Footage showed huge plumes of black smoke billowing from the ferry, with vehicles and families including young children on board, and several boats going to their rescue, people could be seen hurrying out of the ferry's cabin while putting on life jackets, as thick black smoke swept across the vessel and it became engulfed in flames. Methri, a Surathani resident who often travels to Koh Tao for work, said several boats came to their rescue around 20 minutes after they called for help, but the boats could not get close to the ferry out of fear of explosions. He said people had to jump into the sea to be rescued. Everyone had to help themselves, he said. The ferry from Surathani to Koh Tao carries both commuters and tourists. Koh Tao is about 100 kilometers from the coast.
มีให้เห็นออกมานะครับด้านหน้าเขาบอกว่าเป็นกลุ่มที่เป็นการจอดมอเตอร์ไซค์นะครับแล้วก็รถกระบะมันทุกข้ออะไรทั้งอย่างครับจากการการที่ดูจากใช้โดนโดนเข้าไปตรวจสอบครับตอนนี้ลุกไม่ทั้งหมดแล้วรถที่จอดกระเบียงมากใช่เพราะมันมันเป็นสองเครื่องกับเป็นไม้ยันไปไล่ข้างหน้าก่อนดีกว่าด้วยไล่ข้างหน้าก่อนเราแบงหน้าก่อนดีกว่าไหมต้องให้ใจถึงใจนะครับกำลังให้การช่วยเหลือนะครับเรือเฟอร์รี่นะครับที่กำลังเกิดไฟไหม้นะครับ